this is our second video on compound fractions and in this video we want to solve the values of a b and c so in order to find the values of these variables we want to rewrite the fraction on the left which is 5 over 7 to look like this compound fraction so if i have 5 over 7 i know that that is equal to 1 times 5 over 7 and if I use the tip and times rule, that is equal to 1 divided by 7 over 5. Where the tip and times rule is, I change multiplication to division, and then I tip the fraction upside down. Meaning the denominator becomes the numerator, and the numerator becomes the denominator. And if I rewrite this expression... In a fraction form, I'll have 1 divided by 7 over 5. So we have 5 over 7 is equal to 1 over 7 over 5. And now we notice we already have the 1 in the numerator. And that this part of the fraction is equal to 7 over 5. Now let us just focus on 7 over 5. If I rewrite that improper fraction, it will be 1 plus 2 over 5. Because 5 goes into 7 once, and then there's a remainder of 2. Now notice we have the value of A, which will be equal to 1. That means that 1 over B plus 1 over C is equal to 2 over 5. And again, I can rewrite 2 over 5 to be equal to 1 over 5 over 2. And I follow the same principle as we did before with 5 over 7. So that would lead to 1 over 1 plus 1 over 5 over 2. Now if we compare again with b plus 1 over c, we can see that that is equal to 5 over 2. And when I rewrite the fraction, I know that 2 goes into 5 twice. And then there's a remainder of 1 over 2. So now we can see that 5 over 7 is rewritten in this compound fraction format. Where A is equal to 1, B is equal to 2, and C is also equal to 2.